shark. Well, that's one creature you won't find here. Oh, why not? Great question. Let's dive deep and uncover the mystery. Why don't aquariums have great white sharks? Zoom in. Walk into any major aquarium and you'll see all kinds of incredible sea creatures. Massive whale sharks, eerie jellyfish, and even fierce-looking hammerheads. But one famous predator is always missing. The great white shark. You'd think aquariums would love to have one, right? Well, they've tried, but every attempt has failed. Yes, back in the 1950s, aquariums were eager to show off a great white shark. But things didn't go as planned. The sharks refused to eat, bumped into walls and usually died within days. No one knew exactly why. But one thing became obvious. Great whites just don't do well in tanks. But that didn't stop aquariums from trying as over the decades they experimented with different approaches, hoping to crack the code. The most successful attempt happened in 2004 when the Monterey Bay Aquarium kept a juvenile great white alive for about six months. At first, things looked promising. It swam well and even ate. But after a while, it became stressed, stopped eating and had to be released back into the wild. So, what's the problem? Why can't great whites survive in captivity? Well, one major issue is movement. Unlike most fish, great whites have to keep swimming to stay alive. They rely on ram ventilation, meaning they need constant forward motion to push oxygen-rich water over their gills in the open ocean. That's easy. But even the biggest aquarium tanks are too small to keep going. The walls confuse them and they often injure themselves trying to navigate the confined space. Plus, great whites are built for long-distance travel and some even swim thousands of miles a year. Sticking them in a limited space is like forcing a marathon runner to live in a tiny room. So, they become stressed, swim in weird patterns and often refuse to eat. I know you must be thinking, why stop eating? You see, most sharks in aquariums do find eating dead fish provided by handlers. Great whites, not so much. They are specialized hunters that prefer live prey like seals and sea lions. Therefore, in captivity, they often won't eat at all, which means they either starve or have to be released. Beyond these reasons, some scientists also believe great whites get overwhelmed by an aquarium's artificial environment. Like old sharks, they have special organs called ampullae of Lorenzini, which let them detect tiny electric signals in water, kind of like a built-in radar. This helps them sense prey even in total darkness. But in a tank, things get weird. The glass walls, filtration systems and electronic equipment might create unnatural signals that confuse them, making them even more stressed. While this theory isn't 100% proven, it could be another reason great whites don't survive in captivity. But even if we figured out how to keep a great white alive in a tank, the bigger question is, should we? You see, these sharks are classified as vulnerable, meaning their population is shrinking. 
so many scientists argue that capturing them isn't just difficult, it's unethical. Therefore, efforts should focus on studying and protecting them in the wild, letting them live on their own terms. Trivia time! Did you know a female shark known as Nicole was once documented traveling from Africa to Australia and back again? Yes! This round trip was over 20,000 kilometers and took just nine months. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Nishant Kalairasan. Hope you learned something interesting today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Never mind.